Okay, so for my topic, it's area of a triangle derivation and application. And basically what it is, is you're going to use the law of cosines and the area formula. And it's usually when you have, when you're given three different sides, like here. And first you're going to use the law of cosines, which is a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc, which is going to be in parentheses, um, times the cosine of angle a. And some common mistakes from that are usually um, they don't match up um, the last two. And <laughs> and so instead of writing uh, a squared equals b squared plus b squared minus 2bc times cosine of a, they write c squared plus b plus a minus 2bc minus sine of a, which is wrong. And one of my, my examples is 15 squared, which is right here, centimeters, equals 12 squared, which is right there plus 20 uh, squared minus 2 times 12, which is the, the side B, times 20, which is side C, times cosine of A. And what you do is you square off each number, and then you get 225 equals 144 plus 400, and then you put minus 2 times 12 times 20, and then you get 480 times cosine of A, which you just bring it down. And then you get 225 equals 544 because you add 144 plus 400 and you bring down the 480 times cosine of A. And then next you're going to subtract 544 from 225 and that gives you negative 319. And then you basically bring down the 480 times cosine of angle A. And you just divide by negative 480 and then you do it to the opposite side and you get 0.66. 46 equals cosine of angle A, and then you do the inverse, and you get cosine of 0.6646 equals angle 48. Okay, for my next example is when you have the law of sines, which is you're given two angles and one side, like you see here, and the law of sines is basically is side A over angle A equals side B over angle B, which equals side C over angle C. And since you're going to be looking for a side C since it's not given. And after that, after you find the angle, you're going to use the area formula so you can find the area of this triangle. And what you do first is, since you have two given, a uh, given side and a given angle, you're going to put 20 centimeters <laughs> over angles, angle 40 equals C, because you don't have the side, over sine of 60, which is the angle here. And you divide by the denominator on both sides, like here, and then you cancel them out. And a common mistake from that is when usually people divide by the numerator instead of using the denominator, as you can see here. And once you cancel out the denominator on this side, you do it to the next, and you get side C equals the sine of 60 times 20 centimeters over sine of 40. And when you multiply that out, you get side C equals 26 centimeters. And after you get the side, you plug it into the area formula, which is uh, the area equals 1 half times 20 times 26 times the sine of 80. And when you multiply all of that out, you get 256.05 centimeters squared.